In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to uh, lock an application from running uh, using the registry. Uh, still working Windows XP, Windows 7, should work in Windows 8 too. I'll be demonstrating it here in Windows XP. Uh, this will work best if you do it for a uh, account other than your main one. Uh, and you also have to be doing this from an administrator account. And if you look here, if I go to Control Panel and User Accounts, that I'm currently uh, logged in as user, which is computer administrator. But then I have a second account called Safe User, which is a limited account. And this is actually the account that we're going to be uh, making the changes with. And basically, uh, once in, someone's logged into that account, uh, the they won't be able to open the uh, applications that we block. Uh, you could create a new account by clicking on Create a New Account. Type a name for it. When you click Next, it'll ask for if you want to make it a administrator or a standard user. And just you choose standard user. Uh, this would be good for if you have a, a young child that you want to be able to, allow you to use your computer and to do certain things with, but you uh, would like to uh, keep an eye on what they're doing and uh, block certain applications from running. Um, okay, so basically, what we're going to do one thing first thing you have to do is make sure you go to My Computer, go to Tools, and go to Folder Options, and click on the View tab. And what we're going to do here is click Show Hidden Files and Folders, and also uncheck High Protected op uh, Operating System Files, because once we go into the registry, we have to uh, go over to the other accounts uh, folder, and the file that we're going to be choosing is normally hidden in Windows, so if you don't do this step, you won't be able to see the file and modify it. So what we're going to be doing is go to Start and click on Run. And you're going to basically type in the word regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, then click OK, and that opens up the uh, Windows Registry Editor. Now you want to make sure that you're, again, logged in as an administrator on the computer, and you don't want to modify, do these settings either to the current user, which would change it for your account, or the local machine, which would change it system-wide and might block you from running some applications. So if you click on H key users, come up the file and click on load hive this will allow you to open up the other users registry settings and modify just that one user settings so you basically want to go to local computer C documents and settings and click on the user you're going to be modifying and the file you're going to double click on is called NT user it doesn't have any kind of an extension on it and once they are just given a name I usually give it four or five A's as a name doesn't really matter and once there you'll see it listed here and this is basically all the settings for that particular user and it will only affect that user so you're basically going to go to software click on Microsoft you can scroll down to Windows current version and the keys we're going to be looking at are under policies and Explorer now here I already created the keys that we're going to be uh, needing uh, the first one I'm going to do is called Disallow Run. So basically you right click on the right side if you don't have that here already, click New, and it's basically a double word value. And once you click on that, you're going to call, name it Disallow Run. Now I'm just deleting the sample one right now, but you call it Disallow Run and you want the value to be 1. And this actually then uh, activates that feature. Then on the left side here, under Explorer, you're going to right click on that, click New, and then click Key. And you're going to name that key Disallow Run. Same way with a capital D and a capital R. And once you do that, it will create a new key and you'll only have the most likely this default entry. Now for any application that you want to block, you're going to right click, click new, and you're going to be basically clicking string value. And you can either give it a descriptive name if you want or here I'm just naming them uh, just numbers one after another. So you name it three and here you type in the name of the uh, program that you want to stop. So in this 
example, I type in chrome.exe, click OK. Now right now, um, for that user, these three programs will be blocked. And what you're going to want to do is, after you're finished and you add any applications as you want, you probably want just want to do one to test it first. Make sure you come up and click on the folder here that you created with uh, whatever name you gave it. Come up to File and click Unload Hive, and then click Yes. And then that uh, will unload that from the registry editor. And then what you're basically going to, you're going to do is, um, for these uh, options, for these changes to the to, uh, be saved, you have to restart your computer. So I'm going to restart the computer now, and when I come back, I'll show you uh, the results of this and the other user. Okay, I've restarted the computer, and here I'm going to log into the account that we just uh, modified the settings for. In this case, it's called Safe User. And once this uh, finishes coming up, maybe demonstrate that when you uh, try to open one of the uh, programs that we just uh, changed the settings for to block, that it will not open. So one of them was Earth and View. It was one of the original ones, which is a good image editing program. And double click on it, and you get this dialog box pops up. This operation has been canceled due to restrictions and effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. And the new one that we added was Google Chrome. And the same thing if you try to open up any of these applications. But if they try to open one that hasn't been blocked, then that will run as normal. Now if they try to go in and modify the settings. They can open this, but if they try to say to say if you want to disable this, if you double click on disallow run and change it to zero from an administrator account, that will disable it. But since this is a limited account, they can't make any changes and they'd have to be logged into the administrator account to uh, change any of these settings that we made. And again from within the administrator account, uh, follow the uh, steps we did before. You could add as many programs as you want here to block and they won't be able to uh, run these programs. And then if they even try to say go to the program and rename it so then it'll have a different name than what's being blocked. Since they're a limited account, they can't rename any uh, system files, but they can create new files and open them up and save them and rename them if they want. But just not any of the uh, executables or system, fi system files. So this will basically, uh, that's the way you can block any application from running. Uh, again, this is Windows XP, but this should also work in Windows 7 and Windows 8. So uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click like uh, below. And also, if you like my videos, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.